Another thing I want you to know about the shoulder, so many dogs have this problem, is they hurt or they strain their pectoral muscles, the muscles that hold their leg into their body. Easy way to find out if your dog has this issue. If we take her leg, we're gonna have a nice bend to her shoulder, a nice bend to her elbow, we're supporting her wrist and her elbow, and we come straight up. Now she's not gonna come to 90 degrees, but she's gonna come to like 80, right? If my dog can't do that, if I come up to here and they're like, oh no, or that's uncomfortable, that's a problem. And the muscle that's having a problem is right here. And you can come in, you can massage it, and sometimes even just doing that will allow you to come up further. You say, okay, Lori, that may be too much. Why is that important? Because so I love old dogs. I love geriatrics. Thank you, sweetie. And so many of our geriatrics lay like this. They lay like this. Whoop, you can't leave. And that puts a stretch on this, and then they fall because this is all stretched and weak, and they do this, right? Or they keep their, their arms in because this is so tight, and just by keeping it in and not um, stretching it and contracting it and stretching it and contracting it, this gets weak, and then when they fall, they're gonna hurt themselves. And you're not gonna see them limp. That's not something that's gonna make them limp. It's gonna make them lay down. And when they lay down, their whole body gets less exercise, so then their muscles atrophy and they're more likely to have other issues. So that's super, super important and so easy to find out if there's a problem.